Hello, my name is Tammy Joe, and welcome to TJ Holmes Straight Talk with TJ. This is where I get to answer your questions. So let's get started. How many homes should I view before I purchase? This is a common question among many buyers, and it may feel a little bit like Goldilocks. And what I mean by that is we're going to go out and look at homes, and you're like, oh, this one's too, too little. This one's too big. Oh, this one doesn't have this. And that is completely understandable. This is where you're learning about what's available for your price range and your location that you want. But I also want to bring attention to you that when I started a long, long time ago, 20 years plus, that back then we didn't have internet like we do today. So you're going to be actually looking for homes before we even hit the road or hit the pavement, as I say. So when we go out looking for the very first time, and it's not uncommon to put an offer in on the first home that you physically see. Now, here's the question. Is that the home, the first home that you've seen? No. With today's technology, with Zillow, with um, the MLS, with our app, all these different platforms, you're actually inside with virtual tours. You get a very good feel about what's going on. So even if it may be your first time stepping foot in the house, normally all that that is, is simply your idea of going, hey, this is what this actually is, and I'm verifying what I already knew in the first place. So be careful. You don't want to rush into something, but you also want to be very competent about your market, your area, and how fast homes are moving. Any questions, let us know. We're always here to help. Go to tjhomes.com and make sure you find us on Facebook. Talk to you soon.